entrepreneurs and their small enterprises are responsible for almost all the economic growth in the United States. Similarly, in India, MSMEs play an essential role in the overall economy of the country. In recent years, the MSME sector has consistently registered higher growth rate compared with the overall industrial sector. With its agility and dynamism, the sector has shown admirable innovativeness and adaptability to survive economic downturn and recession. The SME sector's power can be seen in its workforce, which comprises 60 million plus people. It creates 1.3 million jobs every year. It also produces more than 8,000 quality products for the Indian and international markets. Although there is still a huge potential amongst Indian SMEs that remains untapped, the SMEs of India are the single largest enabling force for steering the economy forward. To do that, the India SME Forum, a non-governmental organization, was set up in May 2011, and it has been at the forefront of numerous initiatives to bring MSMEs together on one platform. The India SME Forum is today the single largest initiative for small and medium business. In this series, we share the journeys, bring you face to face with, and take you inside the minds and industries of the top SMEs in India. These top SMEs were felicitated by the Honorable Union Minister of MSME, Sri Kalraj Mishra, at an event in Delhi. The attendees were encouraged by the Minister's positive outlook and plans for the future. Over the months, 1,600 enterprises were put forward by 190 industry associations. And they were put through a very rigorous process and 40 were chosen to be India's small giants. Today, we take you to Sanko Industries and Zen Labs, both from Delhi and Himachal Pradesh. We also take you to Horizon Polymers in Gujarat and to Ashish Life Science in Maharashtra. The SME sector typically attracts visionaries, risk takers and can-do individuals, which is exactly what happened at Sanko. That was started by an entrepreneur who was still at college. Watch this interesting story. With a dream that started 28 years ago, Mr. Sanjay Gupta set up Sanko Industries Limited with his far-sightedness and dedication. I started this unit when I was studying in my BCom first year and my friends and my father motivated me to uh, start this unit in 1986. Most of the, my friends uh, were also in this trade. Uh, that's why I entered uh, in this business. I invested 3 lakh rupees initially. There were a lot of challenges uh, that I faced to start this unit like uh, lack of funds at the time and infrastructure uh, was not proper as required by any of the small scale un units and shortage of electricity in the area. Such kind of challenges I faced. Our company is always dedicated to give good quality products at uh, best prices and uh, we are one of the largest manufacturer of this PVC conduits in all over India. We are going to expand our existing manufacturing capacity uh, to be doubled in uh, this financial year and thereafter uh, we are planning to uh, establish a unit overseas in, uh, somewhere in uh, uh, Vietnam or in China. Sanco produces a wide range of cables and pipes, mainly PVC conduit pipes, PVC casings, PVC profiles, along with telecommunication cables, industrial cables, auto cables, control cables, elastrometric cables, among many others. Today, Sanco has a manufacturing capacity of 3,000 metric tons of PVC conduit pipes per annum. They are growing between 25 to 30 percent year on year for a target of 134 crores in next two to three years. Sanco Industries was started in 1986, incorporated in 1989. Initially, we used to manufacture PVC compounds. Then we entered into wires and cables, then PVC conduit pipes. Now we are one of the largest manufacturer of PVC conduit pipes in India. Right now, as we have only wires and cables, PVC pipes, uh, I wish to introduce LED lighting, fans, and all the electrical related equipments. Sanco was recently listed on the National Stock Exchange SME Emerge. Now my vision is to get it listed on the main board of National Stock Exchange and probably make it a multinational company. The NSE SME listing has not only enabled an equity infusion, but also an all-round lifting of operational standards, adding more robust reporting and governance systems in the company. In year 2006, we have been awarded as one of the best manufacturing unit in the zone 
by government of and city of delhi in year 2013 we have been awarded as one of the best smes in india as far as sanco's global presence is concerned we are trying to open our offices in hong kong middle east and south africa sanco's high class electricity connections cater to the needs of application in agriculture construction industry and telecom industry among many more in the present market scenario we are one of the largest manufacturer of pvc conduit pipes with an installed capacity of 6000 metric ton per annum and we would like to double our capacity in the upcoming year this small giant includes wipro hcl siemens punjab state electricity board and the central western southern as well as northern railways in its roll call of numerous customers the only secret of a successful entrepreneur is just to uh, always move on the right path with honesty and hard work sticking to the goals at hand and persevering that's what sanko did exactly what a great entrepreneur would do whereas our next giant took a totally different tack they were the first to introduce their product line to india and they innovated and adapted the product to the local conditions and that gave them their success watch how they did it Horizon Polymers was started by investing 1.92 crores in 1988 and now employs 114 people with a target of 100 crores in the next 2 to 3 years. Horizon introduced Fluoro Polymers, corrosion resistant plastic lined piping systems to India. The company was registered earlier as Registered Line India Private Limited and was later changed in 1993 to Horizon Polymer Engineering Private Limited. we have been in this business for supplying line pipes and fittings for the chemical processing industry since we are associated with our uk collaborators and were selling their product here in india we were aware what kind of customers these products would be useful to and that is why we started talking to them about collaboration and joint venture and that's how we got into manufacturing in the 80s there was a lot of challenges to get the license for technical collaborations uh with with foreign companies and also starting up the company procedures it was a very tedious process and time consuming process the, the hurdles we faced was firstly educating the indian customers who were unaware of line products who were otherwise conventionally buying exotic material uh, pipes and fittings like est alloy titanium stainless steel etc secondly when we started the production uh, the imports in the 80s was very restricted and uh, since there were no local volume manufacturers we had to import these followed by being a ssi you know, arranging finance and banking limits in the initial days was always a challenge the technology was given to us in a phased manner we started off with the injection molding technology where we were processing chloropolymers by a melt processing technique and where we could line valves valve bodies fittings and all kinds of complicated products could be done this was again an achievement because we could do it in all different kinds of chloropolymers and different grades of materials this was the biggest advantage and for the first time the indian customers could have an option of using all the or, or a combination of these products which are lined with different polymers Horizon lined valves are well accepted in the international market and are currently exporting to the USA, France, Italy, Taiwan, Singapore, South Africa and Australia with an overall market share of 26%. 65% of the products are sold to the chemical industry, 15% to the pharma and 20% to other industries. We in Horizon Polymer we do have our own testing facilities for uh, specific gravity tensile strength and elongation and also in the liner we have a rubber roller testing facilities we take a stringent check of uh, quality in our plant this gives us an edge because we do have control in the raw material that we process the end product that we process our success lies in making sure complete customer satisfaction that means giving the best products the best services all times and a very dedicated and integral team
which has been with us for more than 15 20 years our csr activities at the current moment were limited to helping small individual people to start with their own business here locally and we have supported them in offering job work basis so that they could do fabrication machining work and all and earn a living from that so in this way for the last 20 years we have helped a number of sub vendors here to develop themselves and they are now working for horizon doing all these jobs the business has been become manifold since the 90s and early 2000. We have become almost four to five times the size of the companies we were. Our next aim is to more than double our sales, group sales, in the next five years. And our complete focus is now not only being an Indian company, but an international company and an international group with market presence across European, Middle East and Southeast Asian markets. Horizon Polymers have ably demonstrated that the door is now open. For foreign collaborations, technology transfers, the whole world wants to come to this big market called India. But while the door is open, don't go away too far, because we have two more exciting stories on the other side of this break. And while there, don't forget to visit indiasmeforum.org. Stay on the path to success. Primetime television just turned into big time entertainment. Mazidar Mondays, Indu Mirani turns the lens on India's finest filmmakers on the boss dialogues. I'm happier when not too many people recognize me. Taza Tuesdays, Mihir Joshi strikes a chord with the grooviest musical acts in the country on the MJ show. When you go to the bigger shows and if you come out successful, you're just like, mm. Life is stranger than fiction, you bet. Watch the edgiest documentaries on Wow Wow Wednesdays. Whatever you see in this world, it's illusion. Farafa Thursday brings you the latest and greatest from the hottest new genre in filmmaking. When will you understand that two minutes before Maggie Love Fuzz doesn't work? And take a front row seat on Filmy Fridays as Mayank and Pahad review the latest blockbuster release. Yeah, sab kuch double milega. Every weekday at 9 p.m. on NDTV Prime, entertainment gets redefined. तुम मेरी दुनिया सजाती हो कभी नखरे उठाती हो घर को घर बनाती हो घर को हम सिर्फ घर बनाते हैं आप उसमें खुशियां बसाते हैं सुपर डेक Battery lasts 8% longer on Airtel, the smartphone network. your engines and make some noise because our brand new auto show will blow you away find out all you need to know about buying maintaining and selling your ride we'll tell you how to spruce up your ride on the all-new car and bike bazaar buzz only on ndtv prime Welcome back to India's Small Giants. The pharma sector in India has shown great potential for small and medium enterprises, both locally as well as overseas. One company taking advantage of this upward trend is ZenLab. Watch how they did it. Zen Labs is amongst the top 10 in the branded generic pharmaceutical players in India. Started with an investment of just 3.8 lakhs in the year 2008, it now employs 70 people and is on target to 250 crores in next two to three years. 
The firm has achieved a growth rate of 100% year on year in the last three years. Zen Labs was launched uh, in the year 2008, uh, precisely in the month of uh, August, with a view to capture the Indian rural market. We had a manufacturing company called Preet Remedies and Kizotic Healthcare. We were doing third party manufacturing. तो उसके बाद हमने देखा कि हम क्यों ना अपनी एक मार्केटिंग कंपनी बनाएं तो हमने एक जेन लैब स्टार्ट की। In the year 2008 we launched with around 100 products and in a span of almost five years we are crossed portfolios around 700 plus molecules and we are covering the entire therapeutic range like we are covering the anti-infectives, the skin preparations, antibiotics, nutraceuticals, then the gynecological preparations, the hormonal preparations and the injectables, the eye drops we cover and we plan to expand to almost 1000 plus molecules in the coming future. In collaboration with Zenlabs Pharmaceuticals Canada, the company develops and markets a wide range of quality and affordable branded drugs. In a short span of time, they have grown as one of the most competent pharmaceutical companies in the Indian market. We have quality assurance की सबसे बड़ी team है उसके बाद production house से होता है production house के साथ quality control department होता है. इन तीनों के बड़े senior level के बंदे होते हैं. वो regular basis पे operators को, foreman को उनकी regular basis पे training चलती है. Since the excise benefit was announced, so a lot of companies has had mushroomed up in these states of Himachal Pradesh and Uttaranchal. So to compete in that competitive market, what we decided was to have some uniqueness with us and our USP is to promote our products in the rural Indian market where our population is very high and to provide innovative and cost-effective medicines to these people. Their enormous success can be credited to the well-defined marketing strategies, measured market penetration and channel management. We are focusing right now on the Indian domestic market but our plans are to expand globally and we are focusing on the uh, developing countries. At present we are exporting to countries like Afghanistan, Iran, Philippines, Vietnam and West Africa. Our marketing strategy is to launch uh, innovative uh, molecules in the market and to give them uh, excellent attractive uh, packings. And uh, we have appointed distributors throughout the country, even from places like uh, Jammu Kashmir to uh, Cochin and to uh, even far east places like Shillong or Meghalaya or Unachal Pradesh. From the distributors level, we have appointed stockists and uh, who cover the interior markets and also we are covering the nursing homes and the bigger institutions also. With more than 600 products from almost all therapeutic segments, Zen Labs consolidated their position in the market. The secret of success of Zen Labs are many factors. Uh, uh, one is the availability, the quality of the products which we are doing, the variety of range which we are giving, and the dedication of our uh, field force, our distributors, our stockist networks, and the interest, primarily the main interest of the promoters with the company. Zen Labs India has a mission to support life with the help of modern advances in healthcare and to serve humanity at large. We organize camps for the downtrodden people. Uh, some eye camps are being organized, some healthcare camps are being organized where we are providing free medicines to the poor people. Once in uh, three months we organize a camp and rural places like somewhere in an interior village in UP or Rajasthan or maybe Punjab. Approximately medicines worth three to four lakh rupees are distributed in one camp. Pharma industry as of now grows by around 12 to 13 percent but uh, we've been quite lucky and we are growing almost at the rate of 18 to 19 percent. Our vision is to you know, take it to greater heights maybe by the year 2020-21 we plan to do a sale of in excess of 500 crores in Zen Labs only. Some great lessons to be learnt there. Our next giant, Ashish Life Science, prides itself on being a pharma grade veterinary manufacturing plant that has World Health Organization GMP certification. Ashish Life Science have the distinction of being the first veterinary farmer in India to get the WHO GMP certification. Its state-of-the-art factory today supplies to over 50 countries. Ashish Life Science started with just 5 lakhs of capital investment in 2002. In just 12 years, they have become an established manufacturer 
for global pharma companies as well as consumers. India is one of the largest manufacturers of pharmaceutical hub and uh, in these foreign countries when I visited I saw that there were really not many veterinary medicines coming from India. They were all European brands and there was an opportunity because we produce the same quality medicine at a much competitive price. So we got into the business of veterinary formulations with totally focusing on this particular segment and we set up a manufacturing facility keeping in mind the export market. The whole idea was to design the manufacturing facility in such a manner that any company or any regulatory authority which visits us and have a look at a manufacturing facility, they should say this is the company where we would like to do business with. Ashish's wide range of formulation includes sachets, injectables, powders and suspensions. When we started this business of veterinary formulations, we were totally focused on the export market. There has been in companies in India who have been there for many many years in India. So we wanted to do something different. We looked at the export market and we built up our whole uh, marketing business strategy around that. So in Indian market, we are there but in a very minor scale compared to what we are uh, doing in the export market. We've got uh, various brands. We are uh, manufacturing products in our own brand. Most of them is in our own brands. And we've been selling majorly to the livestock cattle cattle market. We've got a lot of anthelmintics that we are selling to the cattle segment. Then pets, we've got cats and dogs, we've got medicines for poultry, we've got antibiotics and we've got other range of products as well. We were the first company in India to be dedicated, have a very big plan for the veterinary formulation. We were the first company in India to have a WG GMP for especially being in the veterinary field. We passed uh, certain major inspections from uh, different health authorities and I think that was the launching pad for us to get into so many markets. Currently we are exporting to more than 50 countries and we have been inspected and approved by 5 to 6 different health authorities of different countries and we have also been inspected and approved by certain uh, European companies who have been doing the product from us. We are associated with uh, one uh, NGO called uh, Dreamland uh, Education Society. Uh, we have got around uh, six schools in and around Palgar Darabo region and we are supporting that particular cause. We have also made some uh, kind of building structure for some schools. We have donated uh, benches, water tanks, computers. We believe that uh, the education is very important for everybody and everybody should uh, be a part of it. So we do it as a part of the company's regular activities and even our uh, employees are involved in this kind of activities. They have over 300 product developments and have started a new division of veterinary instruments as a diversified but allied business. The USP of Ashish Life Science has been the way we looked at the market, we approached the market and we penetrated the market. When we started the company for the veterinary formulation 12 years back, we were with few products and with one customer. Today we are selling to more than 50 countries and we have more than 250 products with us. This has been a long-term strategy and we would like to build up a business for the future. We've always been uh, very transparent, not only with employees, with the suppliers, with the customers. And uh, if there is some problem with the customer, we are very, very open with the customer. If the customer says there's some kind of problem, we do not question our customers. We do exactly what the customer wants and we feel we are responsible. We, we, we don't want to be short-lived. We are looking at the long term and we believe that, okay, I, we might lose something in the short term, but in the long term, it's, uh, it's the kind of integrity, the belief the people would have in us would take us forward. So we clearly believe in this and all our people believe in that, that whatever we do should be correct, transparent with, uh, and with a lot of integrity. Ashish Life Science took a simple yet brilliant decision to focus on the overseas veterinary pharma sector. And today, they export to 50 countries. Inspiring, isn't it? Tune in again next week for more inspiring stories from successful business owners in their own words. Join us again on India Small Giants, only on NDTV Prime, Saturday, 12.30 p.m., Sunday, 6.30 p.m. If you too would like to be India's next small giant, log into indiasmeforum.org and stay on the path to success.